Yes, next same one. Direction cosines of a line. We can call them as DCS. DCS and direction cosines are one and the same one. What is that once look nice? Especially I am going to define direction cosines of a line. Now. For that, let us take XYZ plane. This is X axis. This is Y axis. This is Z axis. This is origin. In this XYZ plane, I am going to define a line OP. In this XYZ plane, I am going to define a line OP. This OP is making angles alpha with x axis, beta with y axis, and gamma with z axis in the positive direction. Then the cosine ratios of alpha, beta, gamma are called direction cosines of this OP line. Cosine ratios means what more? Cos alpha, gamma cos beta, and cos gamma are called direction cosines or DCS of this OP line which are denoted by L, M, M respectively. That means L equal to cos alpha, M equal to cos beta, N equal to cos gamma. These are direction cosines of this OP line. Once again I am repeating the condition. Let OP is a line in XYZ plane which is making angles alpha with x axis, beta with y axis, gamma with z axis in the positive direction. Then the cosine ratios of alpha, beta, gamma means cos alpha, cos beta, cos gamma are called direction cosines of this OP line which are denoted by L, M, M respectively. That means L equal to cos alpha, M equal to cos beta and N equal to cos gamma. These are direction cosines of this OP line. Here remember one point, one condition. If suppose L comma M comma N are direction uh, cosines of a line, then minus L minus M minus N are also direction cosines of that same line. Once again, I am repeating. If L comma M comma N are direction cosines of a line, then minus L minus M minus N are also direction cosines of that same line now. as well as L square plus M square plus L square is equal to 1. If L comma M comma N are direction cosines of a line now, then L square plus M square plus L square should be equal to 1. Now. This is a very important concept in your unit number 2 onwards. From unit number 2 onwards, in so many stages we are going to use this one. If L comma M comma N are some uh, direction cosines of a line, then directly I will take L square plus M square plus L square is equal to 1. Right? And next thing, direction cosines of coordinate axis. What are direction cosines of x axis? What are direction cosines of y axis? And what are direction cosines of z axis? First we will see direction cosines of x axis. For that, let us take this OP line on x axis now. Let us call this OP line on x axis now. Whenever OP line can falls on x axis, alpha becomes what there now? Zero. There is no angle between them. Alpha is zero means cos zero. Cos zero is what now? Cos zero is one. So then, one. X axis what is one in this case? Next, whenever this OP line falls on uh, x axis now, this beta becomes angle between x and y axis now. Angle between x and y axis is what now? 90 degrees. Cos 90 degrees is what now? 0. Now here it is 0. Similarly, whenever this OP line can lie uh, falls on the x axis now, angle between x axis and z axis is 90 degrees. Again, their gamma becomes what now? 90 degrees. Substitute gamma 90 degrees here, cos 90 is what? 0. Now, 1, 0, 0 are direction uh, cosines of x axis. Similarly, let us go for a direction cosines of y axis. You can guess it now. Those are 0, 1, 0. And direction cosines of z axis. 0, 0, 1. These are direction cosines of coordinate axis. Somewhere in unit number 3, we need this one. Try to remember. Simply remember, direction cosines of x axis are 100. 
direction cosines of y axis are uh, 0 1 0 direction cosines of z axis are what now 0 0 1 this is about your direction cosines also next let us see direction ratios also direction ratios you can call it as d or s direction ratios of a line to define direction ratios of a line no? uh, first you should know direction cosines of that line let us consider that l comma m comma n are direction cosines of uh, a line no? let l comma m comma n are direction cosines of a line no? now define three real numbers now a b c in such a way that a is directly proportional to L, B is directly proportional to M, and C is directly proportional to N. Then these A, B, C are called direction ratios of that same line. Once again, I am repeating here. Let L comma M comma N are direction cosines of a line, and A comma B comma C are three real numbers in such a way that A is proportional to L and B is proportional to M and C is proportional to M. Then A comma B comma C are direction ratios of a line. Simply you can remember like this one. The real numbers which are proportional to direction cosines of a line called as direction ratios of a line. Now let us see a point here. Ma. It is direction ratios of coordinate axis especially first of all i am going to define direction ratios of x axis to define direction ratios of x axis once command direction cosines of x axis 1 0 0 direction cosines of x axis means this one is basically on x axis now if you can take any line on x axis now is it proportional to one or not i am going to take any line on x axis is small x now now come on to next 0 y axis point. 0 proportional quantity is always what? 0. And again z axis 1. 0 proportional quantity is 0. I mean direction ratios of x axis are what? x comma 0 comma 0 where small x is what? Any, any number or any real number on x axis. Right? Similarly, let us go for direction ratios of y axis. Once come on to direction ratios of y axis, you can get this one. 0, small y, 0, where small y is what? Now? Any point on y axis. Now. In the similar way, direction ratios of z axis also you can define now. 0, 0, small z. Now. These are direction ratios of coordinate axis. Now. Direction ratios of x axis are what? Now? x, 0, 0. Direction ratios of y axis are what? Now? Y0, zero Y0, zero. direction ratios of Z axis what? 0, 0, Z. 0, 0, Z. These are the direction ratios of coordinate axis. Now, see, uh, let us take one vector R bar. I am denoting with R bar. It is AI plus BJ plus CK. If R bar is vector which can be defined as A i plus B j plus C k, here A comma B comma C are direction ratios of R bar. This vector R bar direction ratios are nothing but what? This i j k coefficients A comma B comma C. This A comma B comma C are direction ratios of this R bar. That means if you can take any vector, how can you define direction ratios? There we can use this concept. concept. Next one, let us take two points. Now. A point is x1, y1, z1, and b point is x2, y2, z2. Let us join these two points by means of a straight line. Now. You got this AB line. Now. now I am going to define this AB line of direction ratios. Now. This AB line of direction ratios are nothing but x2 minus x1 y2 minus y1, z2 minus z1. These are direction ratios of line AB. How you got this one? This is according to vector condition only. If these are the two points already in the previous, we defined one. 
these are the two points now. Then what is the vector along line AB now? x2 minus x1 comma y2 minus y1 comma z2 minus z1. Means x2 minus x1 into i plus y2 minus y1 into z plus z2 minus z1 into k. According to this concept now, this x2 minus x1, y2 minus y1, z2 minus z1 becomes what now? Direction ratios of this line AB are not. But don't proceed this complicated concept. No? Simply remember like this. If A and B are these two points, no? then direction ratios of line AB are what? x2 minus x1, y2 minus y1, z2 minus z1. Now, next condition is whenever you know direction ratios of a line, no? how can you define its direction cosines? No? If suppose a1, b1, c1 are direction ratios of a line. If a1, b1, c1 are direction ratios of a line, then its direction cosines are given by a1 by square root of a1 square plus b1 square plus c1 square, comma b1 by square root of a1 square plus b1 square plus c1 square, c1 by square root of a1 square plus b1 square plus c1 square. These are direction cosines of this line. Whenever that line direction ratios are what now? A1, B1, C1. Once again, I am repeating now. If A1, B1, C1 are direction ratios of a line, then its direction cosines are, its direction cosines are, a1 by square root of a1 square plus b1 square plus c1 square, b1 by square root of a1 square plus b1 square plus c1 square, c1 by square root of a1 square plus b1 square plus c1 square. That means in our further stages, we have to find direction cosines by using direction ratios now. There you must remember this formula. Right? Next, I am going to define angle condition in terms of direction ratios now. Angle condition in terms of direction ratios. Let us consider uh, two lines direction ratios. One line direction ratio is A1, B1, C1, and other line direction ratio is ratios are A2, B2, C2. A1, B1, C1 are one line direction ratios. A2, B2, C2 are second line direction ratios. If theta be angle between them, if theta is angle between those two lines then there cos theta is equal to a1 a2 plus b1 b2 plus c1 c2 whole by square root of a1 square plus b1 square plus c1 square into root of a2 square plus b2 square plus c2 square again i am repeating if a1 b1 c1 and a2 b2 c2 are direction ratios of two lines and if theta be angle between them, then their cos theta equal to a1 a2 plus b1 b2 plus c1 c2 whole by square root of a1 square plus b1 square plus c1 square into root of a2 square plus b2 square plus c2 square. Right? Basically, this we define according to vector concept only. In vector concept already I defined now. With that knowledge only, we proceed this condition. This is not new condition. Again, here we can proceed uh, perpendicular condition and parallel condition. Perpendicular condition between these two vectors, you can guess, already I will proceed in uh, vector concept, especially uh, vector relation. It is, if suppose a1, a2 plus b1, b2 plus c1, c2 equal to 0, <coughs> then these two vectors are what now? These two lines are what now? Sorry, perpendicular to each other. Similarly, what is the parallel condition between them? a1 by a2 is equal to b1 by b2 equal to c1 by c2. I mean, <coughs> if a1 by a2 is same as b1 by b2 is same as c1 by c2, then these two lines are what? Parallel to each other. This is about perpendicular and parallel condition between two lines. Right.